Hello everyone. I know, I've got other videos I said I was going to do. I've always got other videos I say I'm going to do. Sue me. At the moment, I rather than thinking about how brains work and how morals work and how we communicate, I would rather use my brain to vent my moral outrage in the clearest, most blunt and incisive communication possible about some of the things that piss me off. And right now, that would be the attitude that it's all going to work out. That that would be number one on my shit list right now. Um, number two would be that we can't legislate morality. Number three would be that, well, we can't enforce equality. And number four would be that, how to put this? The idea that we get what we deserve. Uh, I'm gonna go from the top. For number four, the idea that we get reserve, we, we get what we deserve. Exhibit A, Snooky. The prosecution fucking rests. Number two, equality. Oh, the equality is this really big fucking scare word. We can't make people equal. We can't make, you know, we can't say that both this man and this woman should be making the same amount of money. No shit. People are not equal. However, money is the same no matter where you go. It changes over time and prices fluctuate, but if you put the same piece, if you take the same piece of money, same dollar bill, all right, and you take another dollar bill and you put it right, put them right next to each other, they are, assuming they haven't been damaged, in which case the treasury will replace it for free, identical. So, if the top 400 earners in America are making 60% of the money that is made in America, are you trying to tell me that 135,000th of a percent of the population I could be off by an order of magnitude. It might be one three hundred and fifty thousandth of a percent. I'm not sure. I think thirty-five thousandth is correct. Um, are you trying to tell me that they are that much better? That they are that much more equal than the rest of us? I would love to see the proof of that. Show your fucking work. Essentially what I'm doing is that I am challenging the proposition that they are that much better because I don't fucking buy it. I do not buy it for a second because they would not be where they were if it were not for the infrastructure and other people's work that supports them. Sorry. Second, you can't legislate morality. You can't make people feel, you know, feel compassion and share. Well, guess what? You can tax them. All right? Taxation is not slavery if, no matter what, you still make more money than I do by a significant margin. If, if for the first $10,000 of income, we're taxed at 15%, the second $10,000, or a second $10,000, we're taxed at 20, you know, then at 50,000, you know, basically if we're being taxed the exact same through the marginal tax breaks, or through the, through the, mar through the tax brackets, and then when you earn more than that, you are taxed more on that money, not on the money that we both made. Then we are being treated exactly the same. You are not being punished for success. You are simply not being outrageously more wealthy than I am as much as you would be under a lower tax rate. You still get to earn more money than me, so stop crying. It's not about morality, kids. It's about mathematics. And the big one. Oh, I love this. If we just let it go, it'll all work out. 
What a poisonous fucking lie. All right? Because you know what that means? You know what happens if you just let it work out in an evolutionary system or in, in a natural system like people want, it, want to do? Well, what happens is some imbalance, like too many deer get killed, you know, and so the wolves don't have enough to eat, and they start dying. Or, you know, too many fish shit in the lake, or too much, you know, hog crap washes into the lake, sucking all the oxygen out of it, and all the fish who rely on a lot of oxygen to survive die. All the normal fish, all the normal wolves, all the ones that fall in the range of the conditions that previously existed as the optimum environment die. That probably means you fail, okay? And the ones that were outcasts and really, really weird and beyond the pale in one direction or another that the center of gravity of the ecological niche moved towards as an optimum environment, they become the most fit until the environment moves again. So, for all these people who say, oh, no, we should just let it work out, and we should just, you know, let, biz let competition sort things out, what that means is that you self-satisfied fuckers who, feel, who have managed to coast along and have not had to live paycheck to paycheck, and if you haven't had to live paycheck to paycheck, and you're not saying to yourself, if you're not being an ego maniacal dick, then I'm not talking to you. I am talking specifically to people like fringe elements, okay, like libertarian realist or indomitable realist or fucking any of those guys. Or Shane DK. Wow, there's a winner. <laughs> Yeah, all you can do is convince people that the most is you can argue for the absolute largest investment ever made, single investment ever made by the human race actually happened. There's a tough one. Wow. There's no, if that's your high bar, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that you are barely qualified for what you do. Because as far as you feel, oh, whoa. I'll tell you what, I'll pick another one, I'll pick one of Shane DK's videos, maybe something about the gold standard if I can find it, because I love tearing that one apart, and I'll go after that, but this is not a rant about Shane DK, although it could very easily become one. All right. To say that you get what you deserve in the market is to, is to basically say, fuck it, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I have faith, all right? Well, what that means statistically is you're fucked. And if you wanna say that you wanna rely on what you are as the next phase in market evolution, to coin a phrase, I wanna short your paper, sight unseen, okay? Because I will take the other side of that bet. Because even though I'll be entirely fucked, my mutant relatives, some might survive, and they will be laughing with your money. Probably. Because, let's just say the odds are with me. And if you want more specifics, just look at extinction cycles. Just look at market crashes. Just look at bank failures and major collapses. By the way, exclude the entire time Glass-Steagall was around and wasn't being weakened, which means from when it was enacted to the end of Jimmy, well, last year of Jimmy Carter's presidency was when he started going on the deregulation kick hardcore. So that time in there, you don't have to worry about because there weren't that many. You can start with the savings and loan crisis and move on from there. The money says, your ass is grass and so is mine. So if anybody wants to just let it happen and do the financial equivalent of throwing your money up into the heavens and hoping that the heavens will rain down ten times as much as you threw at them, 
I want to get that in, on film, and I hope you do it in the middle of Times Square, because I will fucking laugh, and you will get what you deserve. And yes, I'm speaking metaphorically. No one is that stupid, I don't think. Some of you might be. In any case, I hope that for the, the rest, the vast majority of my viewers who are wonderful, good people, or at least aren't sociopathic dicks, I hope that was as therapeutic for you as it was for me. Thank you for your time and attention.